hey guys and welcome back to another video so in this video we would be learning how we could install our salesforce cli on our visual studio code and how we can create lightning web components so let's get started so in your google chrome just type in download salesforce cli so i hope that a visual studio code is already downloaded uh, if not there is a simple procedure to download visual studio code so uh, when you get onto this site you have to choose the type for which you are want to download so we are downloading for windows so it would ask a folder that on which folder do you wish to add it so i am keeping it on my desktop and so it's been downloaded and let us open this uh, so select the components to install click next next and install so it will take some time uh, to install So guys our installation is complete and what needs to be done here is uh, you go to your VS code and in the extensions you have to search for salesforce extension pack so this one is the salesforce extension pack and in here it consists of various things like the CLI integration, Apex, Visual Force, Aura components, Apex debuggers, Lightning Web components and many more things. So you are to install this since our Salesforce extension pack has already uh, been created and installed. So now what we want to do is first we could open a folder so that we could store our data in that so you could choose any default folder so your sfdx yeah, has been yeah, i had put my ssdx in this only so now what needs to be done is uh, you have to open the command palette and type in the command sfdx and your uh, entire sfdx has been loaded up in here so this was the simple setup uh, of how you could uh, create uh, and install sfdx on your visual studio code editor and in the further coming videos we would be uh, creating and working more over your lightning web components so till then have a good day